In this tutorial, we're going to talk about playlists. We'll cover how to create multiple playlists, how to manage those playlists, and then how to navigate between them. You'll see here when you open PvP that it probably looks something similar to this. And on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the playlist column. Currently, I have one playlist that has zero items in it. So I'm going to go ahead and import some media so that I have a couple different things here in this playlist. So I'll simply select this playlist, make sure it's highlighted in blue. I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the screen and click the plus sign and select from Finder, which will allow me to import media from Finder into my playlist. I've got this folder here on my desktop that's got my content in it. This is some church motion graphics motion backgrounds for me. So I'll go ahead and select those and then click open. That's going to import them here into the program. And first off, you have the ability to change the size of these thumbnails. Perhaps you want them larger or smaller. There's a thumbnail slider down here at the bottom right corner that you can click and drag to make the thumbnails larger. You can make them very large or you can drag it to the left and make them smaller. So we'll settle somewhere down here with slightly smaller thumbnails there. So next up, you could add a second playlist if you'd like and you can click on the plus in the very bottom left corner of the program and select add playlist. That will allow you to add a second playlist into the playlist column here. You can also right click in the column and then select new and then add a playlist that way as well. Once you've added the second playlist, you have the ability to copy cues between the two playlists by just simply selecting the ones that you may want to copy over. And then you can just click and drag those to the second playlist. So now you'll see that they're here in the second playlist and they're also still here in this first playlist. This can be useful if you want to just copy a few things from playlist to playlist and then you can have them in both locations. As far as navigating between playlists are concerned, you can do it by clicking on the playlists here in the left-hand column, or you can click right here where it says the name of the playlist, and you can select from your available playlists and navigate to them that way as well. The arrows to the left of the playlist name will navigate in the order backwards and forwards that you have selected these playlists. So if you have three or four different playlists and you've been clicking between them, this will be more of a forwards and backwards arrow for the order that you had clicked in those playlists. So there's a couple different ways to navigate through playlists here in PvP. Next up, we'll look at adding a different type of playlist here into our playlist column, and that's going to be a smart playlist. A smart playlist links to a folder on your computer and always keeps the contents of that folder up to date and visible here in PvP3. So in order to add that smart playlist, you can either right click here in the column and select new smart playlist, or you can choose the plus down at the bottom corner of the software and select add smart playlist. Once you do this, it's going to open up this finder window where you can then select a folder of content on your computer. So I'll select this folder here of church motion graphics content as well and click open. And you'll see that that creates the new smart playlist. And then that's importing all of the media here within the program. And you can see the progress bar here at the top right corner as that import's happening. It's letting me know how quickly that's happening there. So then once you have the smart playlist in here, you're going to see all of the media that is within that folder. You can't actually delete media out of a smart folder because this is simply referencing the media that's in that folder actually on your computer. So if you wanted to make a change to the media that you're seeing here in this folder, you would actually have to navigate to the folder on your computer and then you could select maybe some media here that you didn't want anymore, and you could get rid of that. So we'll just simply go ahead and delete that media. We'll move it to the trash. And as soon as we do that, you'll see that PVP updates and removes that media as well. If you wanted to add more media into this playlist, you would also have to find it on your computer and put it in the folder that it's referencing so that you can see that media. So if we undo that delete, for example, you'll see that all of this media is added back into the smart folder. So the last option in the plus icon at the bottom left corner or by right clicking and selecting new is to create a group. A group is a folder where you can actually nest multiple playlists inside of that folder just to kind of clean up this area here on the left and not let it just be lots of different playlists. So we could create one here and we'll just call this playlists where we could put just all of our regular playlists and we'll just drop those here in that folder and then we can close that folder up and now you can see we only have two things here we've got our smart playlist and we've got our group which we can then drop down and see the contents of that group there another great feature here in pvp is the ability to view multiple playlists at the same time in order to do this we can select one playlist and then hold down the option key and click on a second playlist and that will open up the secondary playlist window 
below your first playlist. You now have the ability to browse two separate playlists at the same time, which can make it much easier to trigger multiple pieces of content to your layers if perhaps you have a lot of media in your playlist, you can scroll to two different locations in the same playlist or have two different playlists open at the same time. And if you want to change what's in that secondary playlist, you can either option click on a second playlist or you can choose the navigation option up here at the top and select your second playlist that way as well. And finally, we'll look at a couple different things that you can import here into playlists. So we'll go ahead and close our secondary playlist and we'll click on the plus at the bottom of the playlist contents window here. So you'll see, of course, from Finder, which is where you would import more media from Finder into your playlist. And then you've got from video input. This is where you're going to see all of your live video input options available to you. So up here at the top, we've got our Blackmagic SDI device that's connected via Thunderbolt, our Ultra Studio HD Mini, and you could select the resolution for your input there. And then underneath that, you've got all of your NDI options. And then also, if there was a siphon option available, you would see that showing up here as well. And then finally, our FaceTime built-in camera because we're using an iMac here. So once you select one of whichever option you're looking for, I'll go ahead and choose our SDI input. You'll see that here in this normal playlist, this is just going to show up as a thumbnail with a nice background color and then just the identification of what it is. If you'd like to see the live video thumbnails to see exactly what this content is here, then you need to add this to the live video playlist, which we'll talk about more in depth in another tutorial. So that's about it for adding multiple playlists, navigating through your playlist, and managing playlists here in the playlist column and importing media into those playlists. For more information and to check out more tutorials, go to renewedvision.com.